Hello, everyone. Here's your weather hazard briefing for Monday, March 21st. We continue to watch for some drier conditions ahead over the next few days. A couple of caveats in that. A few showers will be possible across northern areas this evening and early tomorrow morning. We have another round of showers coming through Thursday and early Friday. Otherwise, with that overall drying trend coming, we are looking at some much warmer temperatures across the region. You'll notice we have moisture coming in from the north and west. That's high pressure building off to our south and west across California, eventually shifting and building north and east. Some of this moisture, like we said, coming over the top of that ridge this evening will produce a few showers, mainly up across portions of the central mountains, and we're talking up mainly Limhi County northward and also maybe in the Centennials uh, through that period. There's going to be some lingering gusty winds down across the Magic Valley in the South Hills and Albion Mountains. Some of those gusts 20 to 25 miles per hour, especially this afternoon. There are those a few showers, and we're stressing few showers across Lemhi County and again up towards as the Centennials. Wednesday looks pretty good weather-wise. With the showers coming in Thursday and Friday, not much of an impact expected with that system coming through as well. And there is that moisture falling up around Lost Trail Pass barely barely seeing any moisture and we're talking a 50 percent chance of just seeing a dusting so this may just be in some cases just nothing more than a few flurries uh flying through the air in those air those locations now for this afternoon we're going to push temperatures back up into the 40s and we're going to see maybe approaching upper 40s once you get into the magic valley up on the higher ridge tops today it'll be a little bit breezy but also temperatures only in the 20s and low 30s. We warm it up tomorrow. In some places, we're pushing uh, 10 degrees warmer for tomorrow. A lot of low to mid 50s from Pocatello westward. Chalice 52. We're looking at 30s and 40s up in the high country. And this trend continues. Low 60s into the Magic Valley and down towards Oakley for Wednesday. And you'll notice we continue to push it slowly upward Thursday into Friday, and even into Saturday. Look at that. Some folks pushing near 70 degrees, believe it or not, for Saturday afternoon. And that actually may be on the cool side. You know, sometimes pulling back the curtain and look at some of that Wizard of Oz type uh, information we don't necessarily always share with you, but some of the information we go th to uh, looking at the forecast. You know, we're talking about temperatures in the 60s. It doesn't look like it's going to get above 70 for Chalice. A very small chance of that for Saturday afternoon. Looks like only in the 60s for Stanley. But you get, you know, you get into the Pocatello area, we're talking temperatures. There's a pretty good chance that it's going to be above 70 degrees and even the potential, a little higher potential for temperatures pushing above 75. But that forecast now lies in that 65 to 70 degree range by the weekend. Those chances are lower for Rexburg and Idaho Falls as well. So like we said, overall drying trend but we do have some moisture coming over the top ridge for some very light showers uh, up north for later this evening into early tomorrow morning another round coming across thursday and early friday and that doesn't look like it's going to produce a lot of moisture for us otherwise those warmer temperatures will be coming as we go through the rest of this week have a great day and do stay safe out there everyone